Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the John Audio Tech Show. Today on the bench, we have the uh, JAT501 prototype amplifier project board here. I'm really impressed with this amplifier. If you followed the uh, design, you know, I wanted to do a ground up design of an amplifier and went through all the problems and sorted it out and got a really nice amplifier. Well, if you haven't followed that, it's designed to be 50 watts into 8 ohms and uh, around 90 watts into 4 ohms. Problem is, uh, when I was testing it, my supply only goes to plus and minus 32 volts. And uh, I don't remember the actual numbers. I think I was getting like 91 watts or something like that into 4 ohms and 50 some watts into 8. Now this is designed to handle 35 volt rails under uh, normal operating conditions. So that that's more headroom so we can get more power from this thing. I would expect to reach 100 watts into 4 ohms and probably around 60, 60 something watts into 8 ohms. Problem is I don't have a transformer, proper transformer. I did find this one. Nice big transformer. Um, problem is it's way too high voltage, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to use my variac here and adjust the voltage. So I have a little supply set up here. A full bridge rectifier, some filter caps. So uh, hook this thing up and uh, take some measurements, adjust the voltage on the supply and uh, take some measurements and see what this thing actually does. I'm kind of worried here. The outputs are these TO220 transistors. It's 2SC5200, 2SA1943. Those are normally these uh, larger power transistors here. But the exact same transistor die that's inside this comes in these TO220 package. They're uh, FJP or FPJ or something prefix number. I don't remember exactly. And I, I bought these because they're cheap. These are, you know, the uh, 2SC5200, 2SA1943 complementary pair excellent excellent audio transistors and uh, they're great for uh, making modern audio amplifiers and they're also great to tinker with in this cheap low price version you can use them in lower power amps in the TO220 version guess what as soon as you find a good product they stop making them well, they stopped making the uh, 5200, the NPN version. They still have the PNP 1943 version, but it's annoying. But I have a little hoard of them here. I guess it's good reason to hoard. So I have still have some to tinker with. I need to, but not to get off on the tangerine. But yeah, concerned uh, power dissipation. You know, pushing these little transistors that hard. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm bolted down to this heat sink, which is bolted down to this. Actually, this aluminum bar bolted down to this huge heat sink. Mica washers. Um, plenty of compound under there. Heat sink grease. So, yeah, hopefully uh, I can run a quick measurement here and see what this thing's doing. Okay, well, I'll stop yakking and uh, get this thing connected together. Okay, I have this all hooked up. So the Bariac is connected to the input of the transformer, the primary here. I have to be mindful that that is line voltage, mains voltage there on that. The output, of course, goes to the bridge rectifier right here and the filter caps you also have to be careful the secondary voltage across the rails can be up to 80 volts maybe a little more 
So yeah, that can be dangerous as well. So you have to be pretty mindful of that. Monitoring the DC voltage across the rails. I have the preamp here so I can adjust the level using the music player as a signal source. So let me get you pointed at the scope and we'll take some measurements. Okay, got everything set up here. All right, listen to that. My Variac humming like crazy. And I dial the clipping out. We're right at 35 volts. I have to put more waveforms on the screen to get an actual measurement. So we're at 20.78. So I'll grab my calculator. Wow, that load resistor got hot. So I know we're over 100 because 20 is 100. So we'll just say 20.8 squared divided by 4. 108 watts. So yeah, we uh, just broke over 100 watts there, about 108. We've had larger filter caps. These are 6,800 microfarads. If I had like 10,000, I might be able to get to 110 because, you know, see it's kind of, you know, if I grab the right control here, see how it's bouncing? That's the one kilohertz waveform beating with the 120 hertz filtered mains frequency. You know, it's 60 hertz and then it's after full wave rectification, it's 120 hertz. And, you know, it's going to kind of beat at that odd frequency like that. And with a larger capacitor, you know, I would get less of that, that ripple. Okay, four grins and giggles here. I'm operating the amp at plus six and minus six volts, 12 volts total. Now, the amp's not really optimized to run at these low voltages, but it works. It does clip a little on the bottom rail first. But let's tune that out and take a voltage measurement 2.85 volts. Now that's about 2 watts into 4 ohm loads. With a more optimized amp, that would be more like 3 watts. But again, this amp's made to run at much larger voltage rails. Though it does show some versatility with the amp. If you want to use a lower voltage, you, know, you don't have to run it at plus minus 35. You can run, run it at, say, plus minus 12 or something. And you now get reasonable power maybe around 12 watts into 4 ohms another thing I want to do with this project is make a video about the board design criteria you know call it something like John Audio Tech approved board layout because there's some things that have to be done just right for the board to perform well and you know at, at its peak so I I want to make a video so if I work with somebody on designing a board and distributing that board, and matter of fact, I'd like to hand all of that off to somebody else and have what I call a approved board layout. And they can, you know, if they want to make profits or whatever, that's fine. I just can't deal with it, I, with work and everything. Having an additional load of distributing and everything, I, I don't want to deal with that, so... I'd like to work with somebody. Um, don't contact me yet. Contact me after I make the video before we uh, discuss that. Hopefully, we, I can get an actual board made and you know have it distributed. If you guys are interested in this amplifier, now I will say one thing. Somebody made a video about making a board for this amp, and I'll put a link in. I don't know if it's a good board, I haven't examined it or anything like that, but they provided the the files you need to have the board made, and you can take it from there. I, I'm hands off as far as that's concerned. Well, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hi, Snick. Here's the Snick. What? 
Did you hungry? Meow. I gave you food already. Eat it. Meow. Ah, kitties, I tell you. I tell you. They're so finicky.